I found the patent for the lead screw reversing mechanism on Keith Rucker's Vintage Machinery website. The mechanism was patented in 1894 by Wendell Norton. And looking at the next page, you can see the mechanism here highlighted in red. And on the next page, it kind of shows the levers and rods that actuate the mechanism. If we zoom in a little closer, you can see the reversing rod there in the, the center rod. As that's rotated up and down by the apron handle, it moves the bell crank arm back and forth. The lower rod has stops that can be set to automatically disengage the lead screw. The side view shows the bell crank arm, which swings up and down with the apron handle. And from the side view, you can see the up and down motion, which then swings the shifting fork from side to side. So it's engaged in the single tooth dog clutch. Here's the detail of the single tooth dog clutch. And then the two bevel gears that are engaged by the dog clutch as it slides from side to side, which creates the reversing motion as it engages those two gears. So here's the actual mechanism on the lathe. The shifting fork engages the groove there in that dog clutch and slides it back and forth. I start off rotating the gear. This is the gear that drives the lead screw. And here's the gear that's driven off of the spindle. As you can see, the two gears on that outboard shaft are rotating in opposite directions with the dog engaged that way. If this shifted to the other side, you can see the two teeth engage and now the gears are rotating in the same direction. So that shifting back and forth of that uh, little dog clutch is what creates the reversing action on the Hendy lathes. There are other lathes that use a reversing lead screw, but I've not done any research to figure out how they accomplish it with if it's a different mechanism or some similar type of mechanism. When I shift over here, you can see the two teeth hit each other. And so the, the drive gear driving the lead screw is not engaged. And you can see those, get a nice view of those teeth and now they're engaged and you've got the gears rotating in opposite directions. You can also, when you pull the apron lever up into the middle position, it uh, shifts into neutral in this position here where, so there's no, the lead screw is not being driven at all. Here I'm at my 16 inch geared head lathe, just showing the apron lever. There it's in the forward, the lead screw is operating in the forward. And there it's in reverse. And there's a neutral position in between, that's in the neutral position, and back down into forward. And here's what's going on, you can see that center rod is rotating up and down. And above you can, on top you can see the lead screw, as the what rod is turned it reverses directions. The lower rod is the stop rod or stops that as the carriage travels back and forth will trip the stops and so you can set a, a repeatable stopping point which can be handy if you're threading into a tight spot. Here's a short clip of an older threading video as you can see the just the lead screws invert engaged and forward carriage is fed in at the end of the thread the comp cross feed is backed out lead screws reversed and just repeated with a little feed in the compound each time. Hope you enjoyed this short video. I just have been curious about this and was interested to find out how Hendy managed to put this on their all their lathes from the 1890s on. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.